Hello, it's nice to have your company again. And as it's Friday, believe me, you couldn't have chosen a better way to round off the week because we're halfway through a really exciting game here in the Master Team studio. There are just five points between our two teams and there are five points on offer for the winner of the Inner Spin round. Before we find out where those five points go, let's uh, meet our players as we always do. First of all, the team that have joined us from London and they are... Good evening, I'm Mike Settle and head of the control assistant from Heathrow. And good evening, I'm Roger Darling, also from Heathrow and an air traffic control assistant. And guess what? I'm Graham Jarvis. I'm also an air traffic control assistant from Heathrow. And collectively they play as the Heathrow Mushrooms. <laughs> well, the Mushrooms have already won two games in a row, which means that they're bronze medalists with an accumulative score of 90 points, but giving them a very good run for their money at the moment, the team that have joined us from Northern Ireland. Let's meet them, and they are... Oh, hello, my name is Michael McGivern, and I'm a civil servant. Hello, I'm Janet Copeland. I'm a French teacher from Arden Bay High School in Antrim. I'm David Beatty. I'm also a teacher, and I have the dubious pleasure of teaching with Janet. <laughs> well, collectively, thank goodness they get on well. They call themselves the Carrick Plus One. <laughs> Well, just before we left you yesterday, we'd got our computer to spin up three letters, and the letters that the computer offered were G, T, and I. And before oh. we left you, I did uh, actually ask our teams how many letters they had in each word. Well, uh, Heathrow Mushrooms apparently came up with an 11-letter word, while Carrick came up with one that had 22 letters in it. We took those words away from them, locked them away in a safe place overnight, and now we are about to find out what the words are. So, Mushrooms, your word, and will you spell it, please? Gravitating, G-R-A-V-I-T-A-T-I-N-G. Thank you. Carrick, your word and would you spell it, please? Gerontotherapeutically. G-E-R-O-N-T-O-T-H-E-R-A-P-E-U-T-I-C-A-L-L-Y. Right, let's just do a quick recap there then. GT and I, gravitating, turned out to be the 11-letter word that came from the mushrooms. I think I'm going to have to take a run at this one, as I've never seen it before. Gero Mo Therapeutically. Something like that, anyway. It's got 22 letters in it. I have to tell you that uh, our uh, lexicographer, Fred MacDonald, has uh, gone through every one of her dictionaries. We didn't half set her a, a job to try and find the words. She found gravitating easily enough, of course. She also found the 22-letter word that uh, Carrick came up with, which means that uh, they do indeed win that five bonus points. So their score line now reads 31. Gerontotherapeutically. What does it mean, Janet? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I can spell it. That's good enough. <laughs> well, it was enough to earn you five points anyway. Right, we now uh, play a spotlight round again because um, we'd uh, gone through half of the programme yesterday. And today it's Carrick who get first choice. And on the Mushrooms team, Mike or Roger can still go into the spotlight. So who are you going to choose? We'll try Roger. Would you like to choose from cinema, food and drink, current affairs, or pop music, please? Not really. <laughs> I will give current affairs a stab. Okay. Let's see how you do, then. You have one minute in the spotlight, Roger. And your time starts. Now, which newsreader recently left the BBC to read the lunchtime news for ITN? Jan Neiman. Julia Somerville. Who won Britain's only gold medal at this year's World Athletics Championships? Fatima Whitbread. Correct. Which Walt Disney cartoon film celebrated its 50th anniversary in July of this year? Cinderella. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Who is the Prime Minister of Spain? Pass. Felipe Gonzalez. Which famous artist's cartoon was damaged by a gunman in the National Gallery in July? Van Gogh. Leonardo da Vinci. Who is the Secretary of State for Energy? Pass. Cecil Parkinson. Which MP wrote Heseltine, an unauthorised biography, earlier this year? Harold Wilson. Julian Critchley. Where did Madonna start her British tour? Wembley Arena. In Leeds, which cricket county hold the Nat West trophy? Somerset. Nottinghamshire. Which former Conservative Chancellor announced his engagement to Janie Ash in August? You may still answer. Which former Conservative Chancellor announced his engagement to Janie Ash in August? Geoffrey Howe. No, it was Lord Barber. I think Mrs Howe might have something to say about it if he had. <laughs> Roger, at the end of that round, you have scored two points on current affairs, so your team total is now 23.
mushrooms, would you like to put either Michael or Janet into the spotlight, please, for Carrick? We'll have Janet, please. Janet, you can choose from cinema, food and drink, or pop music. I'll try food and drink, please. Okay. That's your spotlight subject, Janet. So if you're ready, or on your own for one minute, and your time starts. Now, what are the two ingredients of the famous Rusty Nail cocktail? Cognac and... No, it's whiskey and drambuie. Which shellfish is used in the dish Coquille Saint-Jacques? Scallops. Correct. What is ricotta? It's a cheese. Co Italian cheese. Correct. What puts the sour in a whiskey sour? Angostura bitters. No, it's lemon. Which variety of fruit are bigoreau, hearts and dukes? Pears. Cherry. In Scotland, what is the basic ingredient of stovies? Potatoes. Correct. Cockaleeky soup is made with chicken, leeks, and traditionally, which other more unusual ingredient? Pass. Prunes. In the dish lasagna al forno, what does al forno mean? Cooked in the oven. Correct. What would be grown on a bed known as a culch? Seaweed? No, it's oysters. Which herb used in healing and cooking derives its name from the Latin meaning safe and well? Pass. Sage. What name is given to an apple raised from seed? You may still answer. What name is given to an apple raised from seed? No idea. It's Sorry. called a pippin. Oh. Janet, at the end of that round, you've scored eight points in the spotlight, so your team now has a total of 39. <laughs> well, before we go into our final round, let's just remind ourselves of the scores. The Heathrow Mushrooms have 23, Carrick plus one have 39, and as we're now into our final round of Team Challenge, this is where I say, will you put your fingers on the buzzers, please, teams? And if you're ready... Let's play. Which works by Bach have the same name as an edifice near the east-west Berlin border? David. Vandenberg Concert. Correct. What is the atomic number of hydrogen? David. One. Correct. Who broke into the Queen's bedroom in 1980? Janet. Michael Fagan. Correct. The American protest group MAD, M-A-D-D, stands for Mothers Against Janet. Drink. It's Mothers Against Drunk Driving, but I can accept that. Who took the title role in the stage production of Billy Lyre in 1906? David. Albert Finney. Correct. About which politician did Michael Foote write a two-volume by... David. In your bed. Correct. The Russian unit of currency is the ruble. What is... Graham? Zloty. No, incorrect challenge. Bonus point to the opposition. The Russian unit of currency is the ruble. What is a hundredth of a ruble? Janet. Kopak. Correct. Which planet has a satellite named Triton? Graham? Neptune. Correct. A man with a 10-inch telescope, no doubt, looks at <laughs> Neptune and Triton quite often. Right, let's take a final look at our score line. The Heathrow Mushrooms have 25, Carrick plus one have 53. <laughs> so, Carrick plus one stay with us to meet another team. And the Heathrow Mushrooms, my goodness, they had some cracking games. They got an accumulative score of 90 points they are bronze medal winners but unfortunately gentlemen this is where we have to uh, send you back to heathrow but thank you for flying in and joining us bye-bye